I bet that you would be the one that asked. That's a good one. Um, no, uh, Tariq, uh, explosive playmaker. Uh, he's starting to get back healthy. Um, but you know, with the new kickoff rules and uh, you know these kick returners, they're going to they're going to touch the ball over a hundred times a year, which is significant. And um, at least that's what we're anticipating. And a guy like him, who's he's still young, obviously coming off his injuries, but uh, we're excited to have him aboard. Um, this is pretty you, but I remember Brant talking very highly of him several years ago. Was it, what was his reaction when you guys got this? Uh, he's pumped up about it. He's uh, I've heard all the stories, but uh, I think. We, we share it, you know, from a defensive standpoint, having the game plan against him when he was with the uh, with the Bears, he was a nightmare. Um, I know when we played them, he had a punt return for a touchdown uh, back at uh, Soldier Field. So he's he's a he's a playmaker. You mentioned the impact of the new kickoff rule. Who would you say your leading candidates right now or in the, in the kickoff return room? Um, it, it is an open battle, but uh, you know Xavier Gibson did it for us a year ago, and so he's going to get first dibs. But um, uh, it's you know you've got two guys back there now, you know, so it's uh, it's an interesting uh, set of rules and uh, something that I think we're all excited to learn more about as we go. Uh, losing Justin Hardy, obviously, uh, big blow. There. Just talk about uh, your faith in the special teams unit and also Irv Charles and what he showed you last year. Yeah, for sure. Irv, uh, big body, strong, physical. Um, you know, Brent, Brent's one of the better special teams coordinators in all of football. So, um, you know, he, he, he always finds a way to, to produce a, a, a great unit. And uh, we've got great character ca uh, guys of, you know, we're excited about the backs that we drafted. They're, those guys are going to help out some, and um, but uh, all the way across the board, I think we've got a, a pretty good deep group. Robert, uh, both Aaron, I think Nathaniel mentioned last week how you've taken a more active role in the offensive meeting room. What led to that? Can you kind of just tell us what's different this year, maybe than years past? Um, you know. For, for me, you know, last year was year one, so there was a lot of even, you know, I talked about it last week in my press conference, a lot of learning even for me, you know, uh, uh, first time I had been about, been a part of an offense where the quarterback had such a voice, um, and so a lot of it was me absorbing and uh, along with everyone else and learning this new system. Uh, it's year two, it's this natural evolution of, uh, you know, we've got a really good grasp of the offense, and so just trying to provide some insight from a defensive perspective. Um, you know, just to uh, understand what they're trying to accomplish and just trying to provide some insight. So it's, uh, you know, if it feels more, it's probably just, like I said uh, last week, there's a lot more dialogue, um, and including for myself, but it's more from a defensive uh, uh, perspective. You are adding your insight, but will you step in with things that you want the offense to accomplish, like in terms of I want this to be a focus, I want this to be a priority? Um, well, we always do that, you know, with regards to style of play. And uh, but as far as like a specific play or a specific, you know, there, um, you know, I I don't envision ever uh, being somebody who's going to mandate a specific thing. You know, they've got a they've got a vision of what they're trying to accomplish on that side of the ball, and uh, we have a style that we're trying to accomplish as a team. Uh, that part I'll always be vocal on, but uh, but at the same time, it's. Um, you know, I'll have I'll have suggestions just like any other head coach, but uh, um, but if I feel convicted, obviously, but uh, I, don't, I don't envision any of that happening in the near future. What do you think the offense will look like or can be if everybody, you know, Aaron's helping have the line, you know, pretty solid? Uh, we'll see. You know, um, yeah, I'm. Um, we're, I think we're all hopeful that if, uh, and, and we all believe that if we can stay healthy, um, we'll, we'll be pretty damn good. We've got playmakers. We've got a, a really good receiving core. Mike Williams is still trying to get back. When he gets back, he adds a dimension. I think Allen's had a really nice OTAs. He looks good. Um, and then our backs, Brees is, uh, Brees, is Brees but the uh, Izzy looks good. The young, two young rookies we drafted look really good. Valade looks good. Um, you know, so it's an exciting offense. It's an exciting group. Uh, just a matter of uh, uh, creating an identity and sticking with it, and be, uh, being who we all know we can be. We do. You know, we've uh, we got Jordan, and once Jordan uh, gets up to speed, but um, 
you know, the, the, the idea of having three or four quarterbacks, there's just not enough space on the roster, you know, but, um, but we've got a lot of faith in what we think we can develop with Jordan. We're going to pour our heart and soul into him and, uh, and, uh, and anyone else who plays quarterback. But, uh, but at the same time, a lot of faith in Tyrod. You know, I, I know the injury concerns, but um, I do know when he's out there, he's pretty damn good too. So. You mentioned Mike Williams. Uh, is he doing his rehab on his own, or is he here doing it? He's here. He's here. Yeah. And what do you expect, your best guess at this point, in terms of when he might be back to clear for football? Yeah, I mean, he's not going to be the yeah, start it, of training camp. I no. Um, that one's more for the doctors. I don't, I don't want to put a, uh, a statement out for everybody. Uh, but, um, but he is progressing. He does look good. Uh, but I, I don't have a timeline.